We see it in life. People say, I'd like a guy who is six feet tall and is blonde and blue-eyed. It's like, why are you dating a bunch of short guys with dark hair? Sometimes it's just instinct and you can't really put your finger on it. That's really what artificial intelligence captures. If you're saying yes to people, AI is getting smarter and that artificial intelligence is putting more people in front of you that you're more likely to say yes to. Ten years ago, about 3% of relationships started with an app. Today, it's over 30%. Match really started the category 25 years ago. And 25 years ago, people were embarrassed. Today, the stigma is completely eroded in the U.S. Artificial intelligence has a significant role to play, especially in dating over the last five years. As the swipe apps become more and more prevalent, we don't know as much about a person as we did with profiles in the past. As touch points into a profile are increased, I think AI is gonna have a huge impact. Right now, a lot of the apps are more simple. It's a photo, you swipe on it, you connect, and then you try to figure out where to go have a cup of coffee or a drink. In the future, video is gonna play a huge part of it because you get to know so much more about a person from video. You hear their voice, sense of humor, you can get a better sense of who they are. So instead of meeting someone for the first time on a coffee date, you're gonna be meeting someone first time on an app. What we found in the online dating industry, what's right for a 52-year-old man who is divorced in Austin, Texas, is very different than a 23-year-old who just graduated from college and moved to New York. On average, when people are really invested into dating, they use more than one app. It's really one size doesn't fit all. If you look five, 10 years out, the biggest growth is gonna be in the emerging markets, South America, Brazil, Mexico, Countries like India, China, dating is a stigma. Online dating is an even bigger stigma. The social norms are evolving, the stigma is eroding, and we're seeing really strong growth rates across those regions.